Hi guys. All right, back to the Hudson Bay project. Um, you'll no doubt call me a slacker. I only uh, I only polished it down to 320 grit, but it got out the scratches. It looks pretty good. Um, some of the stuff is really deep, and it is just not coming out. So I'm gonna wash it up, and I'm gonna patina it with vinegar, and I'll be back later to show you what that looks like. Okay, so um, I'm about ready. First, I'm going to clean it with rubbing alcohol, that's 70%. And then I, I, I'd actually wanted white vinegar, but I got distilled, so it is what it is. Then I will, well, I'll be back. Let me get it cleaned, and I'll be back. Okay, the next step is to wrap it with paper towels, and then coat it with vinegar. And I'm supposed to let that sit overnight I believe so I'll have to probably make the rest of this video tomorrow but luckily my editor lets me my uh, video editor lets me just put pieces together and I suck at technology and it's about all I can handle so I'm gonna wrap it and I'll be right back okay I've got it wrapped up now I've watched a bunch of different videos some of the guys boil the vinegar and apparently that takes a lot less time but um, Bumbling Bushcraft is the channel that I saw. He did a knife and he did an axe head. And um, man, they came out so cool. So I'm doing what he did. All right. He just basically wrapped his with baby wipes, whereas I'm using a, uh, I'm using uh, paper towels. There's the vinegar. Uh, you know what, I bought it for this. Let's just pour it all in there. <laughs> Let's just do it that way. Okay, so I just poured um, 16 ounces of distilled white vinegar. I don't know if being distilled is going to make any, any uh, difference. Okay, so it's sitting in the driveway. It's on a slant. I'm going to go put it on a table to let it sit overnight. And uh, we'll unveil it tomorrow. Thanks. Uh, see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, looks like it's time for the unveiling. Um, as you know from watching the other video, if you did, I got a big old cut on my finger, and I am not at all excited about the idea of getting vinegar in that big old cut. Let me pour some of this off. Okay. <laughs> Trash can lids covered with ice. Okay. Ooh, Lord, smells like smells like vinegar potato chips real strong okay I guess I'm just gonna tear it cuz huh what look at it it's not even not even darkened all the way interesting crazy weird look at this Okay, hold on. Let me set it down where y'all can see. Look at that. What the heck? The, I guess the part, the blade part, maybe, you know how they wrap it with, they, the blade might be a different steel, I think. Look at that. That's crazy weird. Okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to let it soak some more. Tuck that back in. Go wash my hands because I don't want to show up at my customer's house smelling like vinegar. And I will add another. I'm going to let it sit while I'm at work today. And then I'll add another segment later. Okay. It's been 28 hours or something since I did this. Oh, well, interestingly enough, we got pretty strange patina on that thing. I don't know if y'all can see it that good. Definitely got some rust. Kind of cool. Looks pretty antiqued out. Alright, I'll go clean it up and make another segment. Um, you're supposed to wash it with cold water is what everybody's saying to neutralize the vinegar or something. I don't know. Let me go clean it up and do another segment. Okay, 
this is the washed patinaed X. It's interesting to me that you can tell where the, um, what do they call the sharpened part? Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm an idiot sometimes, but you can tell that it's two different steels, a mild steel and a hard steel, because that there, there's like a temper line or something that showed up. You can see it better on this side. i got to oil it. and Looks like i got a little bit of rust to deal with right there, but I like it. Came out pretty cool. Uh, last segment will just be it oiled. Okay, and now it's been cleaned up and oiled. And I gotta say, I'm real happy with it. Um, it's got a little discoloring from, from the rust that didn't want to seem to come off with the oil, but you know, I can live with that. This accelerated character. Uh, if I can quote a guy from Bushcraft USA, accelerated character. <laughs> I like it. Alright, pretty happy with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, the next video will be, I guess, taking a two-foot hardwood log and batoning it down into something that I can carve a haft out of. And then hafting this baby. Alright, thanks, bye.